Welcome back to Past Middle School ELA. Today's topic is one of the most complicated topics in literature, which is theme. Theme is a moral or lesson of a story, and it is an idea that the author wants you to take away after reading his or her story. It's almost like a message from the author's heart to your heart, the reader. It is a statement, not just one word. So instead of just having a theme be love or friendship, it's an author's opinion about that one thing. You can see right here, first you need to determine the topic or a big idea from the passage, then use text evidence to kind of figure it out, get a little more clues about it, and that will lead you to determine what the author wants you to believe about this topic. So let's take a look at this comic. Friends, best friends. Friends, I broke up with John. Best friends, we bro broke up with John. So our topic of this is friends and best friends. What are the similarities? Maybe what are the differences? Our text evidence, of course, is that I broke up with John turns into we broke up with John in the best friends panel. So when it's just friends, it's I, and when it's best friends, it's we. So what the author wants us to believe about this is that best friends carry each other's burdens or carry each other's weight. In other words, best friends go through things together. They don't leave each other alone. So you may be thinking, okay, that's great, but how did she instantly come up with that statement? You might be able to get the topic, you might be able to figure out the clues, but how can you turn that into your own theme statement? So here are some sentence templates to help you out. You can always start your theme sentence with the topic. Some, exam some examples are the topic is slash are, topic should or topic sometimes, always, or never. So an example from that comic, best friends are there for you through anything. I took the topic and then I used is or are. For the second one, best friends should carry each other's burdens. That's the one that I created. And then a third sentence starter could be the topic with sometimes, always, or never. Best friends never let you feel alone. So any of these three ways would be a really strong way to create your own theme statement if you are writing a short response or re responding to any piece of literature and have to determine the theme. So let's take a look one more time with a very, very short version of Aesop's fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. A shepherd boy who watched a flock of sheep near a village brought out the villagers three or four times by crying out, wolf, wolf. And when his neighbors came to help him, laughed at them for believing him. The wolf, however, did truly come at last. The boy, now really scared, shouted in terror, Please, come and help me. The wolf is killing the sheep. But no one paid attention to his cries, nor helped him. The wolf had nothing to be afraid of and ate the whole flock. So our topic clearly is lying, because the boy who cried wolf lied. Some text evidence, he laughed at them. Now he was really scared. No one paid attention. And he, they, uh, excuse me, the wolf ate the whole flock. So these four pieces of evidence give us an idea of what the author wants us to learn. If we take our sentence template, blank is or are blank, I'm going to fill in lying, and I'm going to say lying is dangerous because people will not believe you even when you tell the truth. Clearly, you can see if you follow these steps, it is quite simple to determine the theme. So let's look at some sample questions that you might see on a test. The first question is, which of the following quotes from the passage is evidence of the central theme? Well, this is asking you which details support the theme. So you have to work backwards. You have to start out by determining what is the theme using the steps from the previous slide. Then, which details would you have used to help you determine that theme? Or which of these details from these choices actually prove that theme? So again, you have to work backwards on this type of question. Next, we have which of the following quotes is an example of how the theme recurs or is developed in the text. That simply means which of the following details is the way that the author shows the theme. Which of the details proves the theme? Because as you learned in my other videos, developed is just a fancy word for shows. So similarly, the way to answer this question is to start by figuring out the theme with the steps on the previous slides and then figure out which details actually prove that theme. And then lastly, we have which of the following describe the relationship of 
the setting or a character to the central theme. So in other words, um, you have to determine the theme first and then think about how a certain character or the setting might connect with that theme. I know that was a lot of information, but I hope you learned a lot and thanks for watching and happy studying.